Hi, my name is Tashina Dillingham, and this is Drive-By Bird Control. Today we're going to talk about how to read a US EPA label. The label will give you all the information you need to know about how to properly handle and store the product, what PPE to wear, and how to use it. So let's take a closer look at it. Now the EPA label has two main parts. You have your front panel and your back panel. Now the front panel is usually organized in the following order. You have your RUP statement, if applicable, the product name, the brand or the trademark, your ingredient statements, a child hazard warning statement, your signal word, which in this case um, is caution, and a first aid statement, uh, and if not applicable, a skull and crossbones with the word poison on it, and then finally, the net contents and the net weight. Now let's take a look at the back panel. First of all, you're going to find your precautionary statements. And in there, you're going to find information on hazards to humans and domestic animals, the first aid statements, as well as environmental hazards. Next, you're going to find your directions for use. And this is going to include information like your use classification statement, misuse and related statements, your worker protection standard, application directions, use restrictions, it'll have your endangered species statement, and if applicable, uh, special crop use instructions. You'll also find your storage and disposal instructions as well as your warranty statement. Finally, on your front or the back panel, you're going to find the company name and address, the EPA registration number, as well as the EPA establishment number. If you need more information about understanding a specific product label, most manufacturers provide one-on-one -on -one or online trainings about their products, or you can contact the manufacturer directly. So there you have it. Those are the basics on how to read a US EPA label. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for even more drive-by bird control.